So let's go and take a look at the first example, guys. And on this first example, um, we see that we have a trinomial over a trinomial. And again, we're just trying to simplify. So all we're going to do is think factoring, right? So you know, obviously, hopefully we get this. We get x minus 1 times, let's see, x minus 2. Looks like that works. And then this one looks like it would be factored into x minus 3 times x minus 1. So I'll just write this back over in the factored form. Okay, And now that we see my quantities, the reason why factoring is so helpful is because now we've rewritten our expressions as a product of its factors. Since they're now separated by multiplication, I can apply the division property. So therefore, we recognize that I have x minus 2 over x minus 3, where x cannot equal 3, because 3 makes the denominator 0. And then what about 1? Did 1 make the denominator 0? What is 1? Does anybody remember what 1 is? If this was like an equation that I had to graph, what would 1 represent? Uh, It'd represent a, starts with an h. Oh, right? It's a removable discontinuity. Right? Remember that? They got divided out. So yes, it is still a discontinuity. So it still does make the denominator 0. And the, what you're looking for is not just the simplified answer, but the original problem. Okay? So you can see that 3 and 1 would both make the denominator 0. Okay? So um, 1 is not a, one is a uh, excluded value. Even, we don't need to, even though it is a whole and 3 is a vertical asymptote, is, it is an excluded value. 